And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. Enough? <laughs> Never. All right. <laughs> As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellent Award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Set and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Kalani. Oh! In the end zone, it is caught. Charge. Good for the pass. Here's a shot right in front. Score. And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. 
Rousseau for three. He got it! Uh -huh. And welcome to Jefferson Township High School as Morris Sussex Sports presents High School Boys Lacrosse. This is a crossover division game as Jefferson Falcons 10-1, 5-1 in the Rizzo Division under their veteran head coach Scott Reed take on the Paquanic Golden Panthers out of the Curcio Division. They are currently 10-2 overall, 5-0 sitting atop of the standings in the Curcio for their fourth year head coach Stephen Donnelly, a veteran who coached at Roxbury and Lenape Valley before coming and giving some stability to this Paquanic program four seasons ago. Good afternoon, a beautiful afternoon here in Jefferson. And we want to thank our Booster Club. First of all, I'm Dan Cleary. I want to thank our Booster Clubs for sponsoring this game, the Quantic Booster Club. I want to thank them for being one of the sponsors and the Jefferson Falcon Booster Club as well. So we want to thank them for getting this game on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. So we talked about the two teams' records. I'm going to bring in my partner today from True Lacrosse, a former Vernon player and Marywood your uh, college player, Bobby Sedlock. Bob, thanks for joining us. And uh, your thoughts on this game? You know several kids from the teams through uh, through your uh, association with True. Hey Dan. Uh, yeah, no, I've got a couple of a couple of players on um, on the Jefferson team here. You know, some guys seeing some some real burn as freshmen, and uh, you know, should be pretty interesting to watch them get after it today. We'll talk about this Jefferson team. We 10-1, 5-1 on the wrist. Now, Scott Reed over the last few years has opted not to go into the Morris County Tournament. Uh, Scott said, you know what, I'd rather pick up two more games. He said, you know what, we can win two, and then we're going to run into Del Barton, Mountain Lakes, Chatham. He doesn't see the benefit of that, and I can see that rationale. So uh, they have not, they were not in the Morris County Tournament, but they're coming off a win over Morris Hills, 12-3, a big win there. But uh, they're having a great year. Their only loss was to Morris Knowles. They lost to the Golden Eagles. 10-7 a game. They were down 6 nothing. Battled back to make it a game. But uh, this team, a lot of fun to watch, but they're a little banged up. Um, on the attack, they're led by Scott's outstanding sophomore son, Chubb Reed. Number one, eight goals, 32 assists. He does a great job at behind X. Also starting on the attack, Braden Strouch. Number four, he has a goal. And then Harrison Root, who's coming off a nice ice hockey season for the triop of Kinelon, Sparta, Jefferson. He's got 30 goals, 8 assists. In the midfield, uh, Matty Leopard having a great year. Number seven, he uh, has 26 goals, six assists. Number 11, Anthony Giannotti has two goals and two assists. And you'll see Stephen Cruz, number 17, number 20, Jeff Evans. And on the faceoff, today will be Matt Cruz. He's at 43%. Not all the faceoff, because we're going to talk about maybe the most versatile player in North Jersey, Colin Sabia, the long stick midi. He does not come off the field. And it looks like we're going to get ready for the national anthem. But Sabia going to Wagner, 60% on face-offs. He's got 135 ground balls, 17 goals, and 7 assists. All right, we're going to have the National Anthem.
All righty. So finishing our thoughts on Jefferson, uh, Colin Savio going uh, to Wagner. What a great player, 135 ground balls, 17 goals, 7 assists, 60% on faceoff. He just does it all for the Falcons. Defensively, you see uh, short sticks will be number 15, Dylan Kirscher, number 10, Jason Post, a freshman who's just having a great year, played great for uh, Jerry Van Reno and the football team, and number 14, Chris Morgan. Also, also, Ethan Orlando, number 24, will get in there. But it's their defense, which is only allowing under five goals a game, and that's veterans back there, number 21, Josh Danius, number 12, Alex Johns, number 6, Aiden Fitzsimmons, and then in goal, Jameson Reed, uh, the part of the Reed Twins, He's having a great year in goal. He was started as a freshman last year, 66 saves, only 48 goals allowed. The big question today, and we'll find out once they come walking out, Jefferson in the home white, will their outstanding senior, Vinny Leopard, number five, play? Vinny kind of banged up, but coming in, he has 23 goals and seven assists. So uh, obviously you take him out of the lineup, Bob, you're going to have to find someone else to step up offensively. Yeah, definitely. That's a pretty big gap to fill. So they will head out there. I'm not seeing him out there, number five, yet. He could be in the mix on the side. So that's Jefferson having that great year, looking to win. Uh, they lost to Morris Knowles. So Morris Knowles in the driver's seat in the Riz division. This is the first year in the Riz division in, in a while for Jefferson. They had dominated the Pooley the last few years. They won it last year, beating Warren Hills on a winner-take-all game we saw here on Morris Sussex Sports. Uh, they won it in 2019 with the great Matt Capello, Hunter Good. Matt Bruno, Colin Miller was the goalie. They won in 2018 and 17. So they needed to move up to the Riz Division and, uh, and holding their own with only one loss to Morris Knowles. Paquanic, who said 10 and 2, undefeated in the Curcio on the attack. Number one, Brendan Brady's. Number, uh, he has 11 goals, 32 assists. We'll keep an eye on him. Number eight, Ryan Teresi. He has 19 goals, 14 assists. Number 24, Tyler Naples, 26 goals, 10 assists. They were going underway. And a win for Paquanic on the faceoff. And that's Eddie Shalongo. Now, that's one of the storylines. Their main guy on faceoff, Isaac Budowski, 64%. Unavailable today. He's at a family event. So, Shalongo comes in. He wins the first one. And a big one against Colin Savia. Rest of that lineup, Dante Sheff. He's in midfield, 28. 28 goals, 11 assists, 25 ground balls. Number 10, Mikey Horgan. He's got a one goal and three assists. And number 14, Matt Zenner. 16 goals, 12 assists. We'll also see in the midfield Joe Heaney, number 20, Mason Longo, 5. They're missing Stephen Fenner, who has an injury. He has 14 goals this year. LSM will be Dylan DeNaples. He's got 96 ground balls, so he is a machine on that. He's number 6. And then a very good defense led by senior Finn Powers, having a great year. Soccer, basketball, now in lacrosse, 43 goals. Dan Benzavina, he's number 19. Noah Rosario, number 17. And in goal, Mason Chef, a sophomore, 95 saves. And he's only given up 75 goals. So they score 10 and a half. They give up about six and a half. So just reading those numbers, Bob, seems very even. Yeah, it should be a pretty close game here. So both teams missing key players, possibly. I, was, I didn't see Vinny out there, number five. I'll have to check on the attack. But on the move here, Dante Jeff works it back to X. Finn Powers. I'm going to check that. That's Brendan Brady with the 32 assists. Of course, he'll be back at X. <laughs> and a possible turnover here. Nope. Coming back to win the ground ball is Nick, excuse me, Mikey Horgan. With the rip and the save by Jamison Reed. Now, Scott Reed coached under Harry Shortway when Harry was the coach here. He is the guru of defensive looks zone wise. So, Bob, we'll take a look at what kind of defense they end up playing today. Save you with the ground ball win. And he's out there on offense with the long stick. That doesn't bother him. So, they'll go to work on their first possession. As we said, Chubb Reed having a great year. Eight goals, 32 assists. And Harrison Root, number three, we'll keep an eye on him. And I'm not seeing Vinny Lippert out there. He was warming up. He was having problems with his foot. That's Matt Lippert. Then a shot taken there by Harrison Root. Stay here on the backup with Braden Strouch. Off the screen. Good slide coming over defensively by Paquanic. 
trying to force the turnover. Finn Powers, and he does. Nicely done by Powers. He gets it over. Again, a great athlete in soccer and basketball, playing for the great Jeff DeBell. Jeff has uh, hung up his whistle with the boys' basketball program at Quantic. We had him on the other day during our softball game. Over 300 wins. Jeff's a great guy. So Paquanic will go back to work. It seems like these guys are going to be very patient today, Bob. Yeah, definitely. Um, they were patient the first time around, got a good shot off, two good shots off, and, you know, I think that's going to be the key uh, to whoever wins this matchup is going to be who possesses the ball long enough and who makes the most out of their long possessions. They met last year, 9-3 win for Jefferson. Root had three goals and Sabia had three goals. There's a shot. Great job again by Jamison Reed trying to force a turnover with the ride with the Falcons. Who's going to come up with the ground ball? And it'll be Sabia. He's just a lot of fun to watch. Have you seen him play, Bob? I have not. You're going to enjoy him. Shot on the bounce. And it should be Paquanic. I think they got there first. Indeed, they did. Dan Benavina did a good job to get there. He rarely comes off the field. Got the long pole on offense. Doesn't matter. When they beat Warren Hills last year to win the Pooley, as we said again, we did a more Sussex Sports. He was tremendous. He was a one-man wrecking crew. I joked with him after the game, if this was an away game, you would have drove the bus. <laughs> Laquana will get another possession. They'll set up, get their personnel on. <clears throat> They'll work it back up top, excuse me, folks, to Matt Zenner. Quantic was in the Morris County Tournament. They lost last week to a very good West Morris team. They were the 11th seed, West Morris the 6th seed. Lost 14-3. to three. Morris County semifinals will be held at 4 and 6 o'clock tonight over at West Morris. And we'll have the final on Thursday evening at Mount Olive. Here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Number one, Delby will play Randolph. Number four seed in a real interesting matchup. Number three, Chatham against number two, Mountain Lakes. But we have no score here at Jefferson High School on a beautiful day. Good defense by the Falcons. That's Dylan Kircher. Again, you're in the Riz division, Bobby. That's a good division, and you're holding teams to about five goals a game. That says a lot about your defense. Yeah, definitely. The risk has been a pretty com competitive um, division for a while now. Nicely done defensively. And again, that's Dylan Kircher. And now Xavier trying to add to that amazing ground ball statistic, but coming over and scooping that up, Mason Longo. Nice work by him. As Bequanic will go back to work as we're about 6.20 to go here in a fast-moving first quarter. No score. Again, I want to thank Booster Clubs. Waiting. Brady. Sends it back to X. Reed got a piece of that. Pops over to goal. Coming back to play it on the ground ball is Longo. They'll send it back out. Tyler DeNaples having a great year. He swings it on over. To Ryan Teresi. Good defense by Aiden Fitzsimmons, we talked about those guys back there at the long poles, Danius, Johns, and Fitzsimmons. Done a great job of one of the short stick middies. Hands free, shot, and a goal! A nice rip there, and that's Dante Sheff. That'll give him 29 goals on the season, but Quantico will draw first blood at the 527 mark. Take a look at that, Bob. Jefferson just gave him too much space. You can see he got the hands free and off he went. With a quick release. And Chef makes it 1 0 Paquanic. Sabi will head back out there against Shalongo. Shalongo won the first face off. Again, Isaac Bukowski was also an outstanding soccer player. Not available today. Sabia, there he is, scoops up a ground bull. We'll have a whistle. And the whistle will be against Paquanic. I right, check that Jefferson. 
On the free clear, bringing it across. Joe Haney. Thought about it, takes a rip. Nice arm angle there by Brady. You know it on the backup, so Jefferson get the ball back with 5-12 to go here in the first quarter. Bob, what's new or true? Um, <clears throat> right now we're holding, uh, you know, filling a couple spots. I'm doing some private evaluations. Um, start up June 6th with our summer season, so I'm pretty excited for that. Ball pop loose. Who's going to get to it? Looks like Brady's going to get through it first. He does and scoops up the ground ball. Good thought, but it goes through. Um, you know, we've got tryouts for our for next season, uh, July 11th and 12th for the boys, 12th and 13th for the girls. Um, you know, s still building our girls program. Um, if anybody's interested, uh, bsedlock at truelacrosse.com. Uh, you can shoot me an email. We'll set up a private evaluation. Very nice. It's just amazing. And, Bob, you're a young guy, and it's grown since you started playing lacrosse. Yeah. You know, the – Every program across the board, it, it, lacrosse is just becoming this sport that all of a sudden everybody has. Um, I feel like I remember when I was a freshman, you know, we would have to travel so far because some schools just didn't even have it. Especially up in the uh, Sussex County area. You know, deep in the woods. Yep. Always been a staple in Morris County. For my money, the best county in the state when it comes to lacrosse. Well, the people up in Bergen might have something to say about that with Don Bosco, Ridgewood, Bergen Catholic. And people down in Essex County, too, with Seton Hall Prep, Caldwell, West Essex. As I'm making a case for every county here. <laughs> <laughs> I should run for office. <laughs> Brady dumps it back up top. Good patience shown here by the Golden Panthers. They swing it over. As we approach 3.15 to go here in the first quarter. And then in Union, you get Summit and Westfield. So, all right. So, there's a lot of good lacrosse. <laughs> I think that's the point I'm trying to make. In a very long, long way to getting there. And waiting back at X. Good defense there by Alex Johns. Shot and a goal. And another rip there. That's Tyler to Naples. And Paquanic has the 2-0 lead. That'll give DeNaples 27 goals on the season. Yep, he just sneaks into the sweet spot and sends it. Yep, the slide didn't get over there quick enough. Kind of left Reed out the dry. And again, this Jefferson defense, Bob, has only let up double digits once. And that is in the... Lost to Morris Knowles, 10-7. <clears throat> but this is where Aquanic has done it, but possessions and winning ground balls and winning the two face-offs. So 2.40 to go, looking to add to their lead. I think that's going to be the biggest struggle for Jefferson when you've got the um, – <clears throat> when, when you're running the zone, you can't get lost in the sweet spot like that. And Coach Donnelly knows how important with 2.39 to go to keep that possession. He'll call a timeout. His first. <clears throat> so, folks, if you want to get your game on like Paquanic and Jefferson, you can fill out the form on the YouTube page, or you can send an email to georgeandmorrissussexsports.com. And if you want to advertise, there's no better place to advertise than Morris Sussex Sports on our social media alone. We get 4 million hits. That's right, folks, 4 million. There's no other platform that can give your business that kind of exposure. So if you haven't yet, why not? Give George an email, georgeandmorrissussexsports.com, and he will give you an advertising package. And before you know it, people will be knocking on your door saying they saw it on Morris Sussex Sports. Also, we still have our digital playing cards. And uh, is this still called the wrap-up show, Mr. Arvey? The review show, playback? Playback preview. I want to get right Nick Federico, our buddy. Hardest working man in showbiz, he hosts that. So a lot of good stuff going on in Morris Sussex Sports. Again, we'll have all the Morris County Championships and Hunter Warren Sussex Championships this spring. So we said the Morris County Tournament, <clears throat> excuse me, on the boys will be Tuesday. The girls will be next Saturday at Mount Olive. And the HWS Championships, boys and girls, I am 
sure. I want to make sure I'll find out. I believe it's next Saturday, definitely next Saturday, and I believe it will be at Spark. We'll see if any of the teams not named Hunterdon can get to the final. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter and Central North Hunter and but Pope John, they've been in the finals the last two years, lost to Hunter and Central last year, beat them two years ago. Jack Clifford had that monster game. In fact, I was watching a little bit of Sienna Maris before I got here. Jack Clifford playing for Sienna. All right, so out of the time I'll see what Coach Donnelly draws up. Matt Zenzer sends it back, and that'll be a shot. Stay here. Brady on the backup. Speaking of Jack Clifford, I've got his little brother, Connor Clifford, in the true program. Very nice. Sienna and Maris were still playing when I left for the championship of the MAC. This is my favorite time of year when it comes to the cross. All the college tournaments and then the NCAAs start next week. The selection show is tomorrow night at 9 30. So a nice. Job here. They've held it for almost a minute since they had the timeout. I really like the McQuanke. Again, left alone, shot, and a goal. Dante Chef, that's twice in the same spot, Bob. Yeah, they're going to have to leak somebody out of the middle to pick that up. Otherwise, it's put that on repeat. And this is almost like a re <clears throat> This is a replay, but it could have been the other goal. Left a little alone, slide. So the guys in Jefferson's defense, they're going to have to pick it up communication-wise. Got to know where everyone is. And Paquanik with a 3-0 lead. So Shalongo will go against Sabia. Sabia's so strong. Shalongo hanging in tough and Sabia. <clears throat> that was scoop back. Left on the turf. He's going to pick it up. And it will be Noah Rosario, nice job by him. And another win for Paquanic. Again, good patience there. They could have maybe got something come un unsettled, but with 120 to go, they're going to hold this and, and get a good shot. That's a great ground ball, too. When it gets into the offensive end like that, you always see you know something kind of fall apart when everybody's bundled up for the ball, and normally it pops out to an attackman. You know, that's kind of how it feels as a defender myself. Somehow they always get it. But a uh, great ground ball to bring it up into their end. We see if there's an adjustment on this uh, defensive side here for Jefferson after those two goals in that sweet spot, as Coach Sedlock called it, and they were wide open. They uh, Now trying to feed the crease. Good defense there. Not a pop out. Winning that ground ball, Alex Johns. And here comes Jamison Reed. Brings it up. And that will be a turnover. Or did they get it? Yep, it will be. No, it was off the quantum. My bad. Jefferson keeps it with 25 seconds to go. Anthony Giannotti puts on the brakes. Sparks are back up top. It's been a while since we've called Jefferson on the attack. Leopard with the inside roll. Shot a goal. Matty Leopard, terrific job. And Jefferson will get on the scoreboard with 16 seconds to go. You know a little bit about Maddie Leopard? Yeah, Maddie's on my 2026 team. Puts up a lot of goals throughout the summer and the fall. A little inside roll here. Whoop. And Look at that. We practiced that all winter. I know. He learned well. So Jefferson on the scoreboard. They trail 13, excuse me, 3 1. Maddie Leopard, another one of those players I've seen since the third grade. <laughs> See, we have enough time to get a final shot off. Less than 10. See how the Pequannock can send it across. Brady thought about it, and nope, that would be late, even if that went. So one quarter in the books here at Jefferson High School. Our score, Pequannock 3, Jefferson 1. We'll be back with second quarter action. Sussex Meatpacking 
in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line, though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. And welcome back to Jefferson Township High School here live on Morris Sussex Sports Network. A little North Jersey interscholastic crossover game between Jefferson and Pequannock, two Morris County schools going at it. Right down Route 23, back in the old days, they had the old Skyline Conference that these two schools were members of. But that's a long time ago, folks. So a win for Pequannock as we start the second quarter. I want to thank both booster clubs for sponsoring today's game. And thus far... Shalongo's done a nice job at face-off X against a top-notch guy in Colin Sabe. Yeah, keeping it, uh, you know, in, in their offensive end is going to be huge, like you said, in the beginning. In the first quarter, Dante Chef with, Chef with two goals. He's got 30 on the season. Tyler DeNables had a goal. He's 22nd. But a big boost going into this quarter, Matty Leppard with a goal with 16 seconds to go in the period to get Jefferson on the scoreboard. But for the most part, Bob, it was all for Quantic in that first 12 minutes. Their possession, their goals, their ground balls, they were doing a, uh, you know, a great job keeping it in their offensive end. Matt Zenzer will get rid of it. Back up top. Dante Chef. There's a rip, just goes wide. Nice angle on that by Matt Zen Zenzer. You got the Reed brothers out there, and you got the Chef brothers out there for Quantic. Mason in goal, Mason Chef in goal for Pequannock, and Jameson Reed in goal for Jefferson, and their brothers are on the field. Oh, nice look inside, shot and a save by Reed. Ball pops out. And collecting that will be Aiden Fitzsimmons. Long clear attempt, and let's see if they can get to it. And out on the, trying to get to that was Harry Root, but he's not gonna get there, Harrison. Those are the little things that have kind of haunted Jefferson a little bit here in the first uh, quarter plus. Yeah, I don't think he needed to go all the way over that far. Probably could have hit post in the middle. Post, such a good athlete. It's going to be fun to watch him play the next four years. Football and lacrosse. Hands free shot. Chef's a good-sized kid, and he knows he, he works to get to his strong arm, which is the left side. Does a nice job doing that. With the two goals today. A little dodge. Looking for someone to come through. Holding it. Up top. A little stick dodge. Hands released wide. But this Pequannock guy is having a pretty cool trigger. 
Yeah, they're getting it out of their sticks quick. That's Tyler to Naples. Brady with 32 assists this year coming into today's game. He's bodied up by Alec Johns. Tries to dump it back to X. Good pass through. Good job keeping possession. Tyler to Naples. Working around and Matt Zenzer up top. Quantic last year. Wow. With 12 and 6 and another nice job there by Sabian. Last year they were 12 and 6, 4 and 2 in the Curcio. They beat Kittle on the States before losing to Mount Lakes. So Coach Donnelly slowly trying to build the program up. And this is Reed. Chubb Reed. Works his way through up top. Left alone. Hands free. Shot. A great save there by Mason Shep. Taking the rip there is Matty Leopard. He had the goal to end the first quarter for the Falcons. Reed. Bodies up. Good harassment there on defense. Finn Powers. Good work defensively there by Evan Karate, number 32, is checked in. Aquinas got good size. They're pretty big boys down there. This is Reed. Works his way through, dumps there it is. in, and a beautiful goal by Chubb Reed. That'll give Chubb nine goals on the season, and Jefferson makes it a one goal game, 3 2. He was just determined on this one. Wait it, wait it. Slivered through and yep. a little shot over the shoulder. Nicely done. Stuck with it, protected it. Finished the ball. That's a big one for Jefferson. It certainly is. So Shilongo and Sebia will go at it. 3-1 advantage for Paquanic. And I'll pick up another one. Oh, nice job coming back. Chubb Reed. But a good win there by Dylan DeNaples. And they'll get their personnel on. It's Tyler DeNaples. We'll send it back up top to Joe Haney. I want to thank both booster, booster Clubs. You see their logos on the screen and all the sponsors you see on the screen for getting these games of the week on the air. So again, showing that patience. I don't think they've taken a bad shot yet, Bob. They've definitely worked for some good ones. I'm trying to feed the crease, but broken up. Nicely done. And Jamison Reed, he's going to come flying out. Very athletic. His dad, Scott, said it, he, he wishes sometimes he could play goalie with uh, regular sticks <laughs> and he could go out and, and try and score. So we have a timeout call by Jefferson with 7.13 to go. We'll take a is so cold my fish froze mine's so hot my sneakers melted rooms with different temperatures that means your hvac system is outdated and wasting energy at ics we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ics for hvac i see why
Jen Vasilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202. And we're back here live at Jefferson after the timeout call by Jefferson as they've cut their deficit to just one goal. They were down 3-0, but they've scored goals from Matty Leppard, the 16-second mark left in the first quarter, and then a goal by Chubb Reed at the 17 mark, and they'll go to work on this possession, and we'll see what Coach Reed draws up. We talked about Scott Jefferson product, but Jefferson did not have lacrosse when he was here. He picked up the game in college coached in Bergen County and then came back here was a loyal assistant to Harry Shortway for many years before Harry went back to coach his sons at Vernon and Scott took over this program 14 years ago and has done a great job you have probably had interactions with Scott through Mad Dog yep yeah uh, either playing against them or coaching against them good to see Harry Shortway last night Coaching the West Mill for girls. So, Chubb Reed. Trying to work his way free. Great defense by Finn Powers. That's going to be a matchup to keep an eye on. Leopard goes wide. We'll stay here. And Chubb knows every game he's not going to be the biggest guy on the field. But he's got great lower body strength. And the heart, the heart of a guy that's 6'5". <laughs> And when you know you're going to get beat up like that, you've got to be a tough customer, and he certainly is. Okay, he's got a good one on him in Finn Powers. They send him back up top. Oh, nicely done, chopped away by Dan Benavina. That was a terrific play by him. Yeah, smart play, get it out of traffic. Yes, indeed, but can they take advantage of it? Pile up, who's going to win the ground ball? Love a push. So we'll stay here with McQuanick. So great job on defense by Dan Benavigna. And let's see if McQuanick can turn this into a goal. With under six to go here in the first half, they have a 3-2 lead. You're live on the Morris Southern Sports Network. Dan Cleaver along with Bob Sedlock. And Bob, give your uh, email out again and if people want to get in contact with you about you know, uh, getting uh, joining True. Yeah, if, uh, if you're interested in getting into the, the club scene, uh, we practice pretty locally. Um, we've been out of Sparta. We're considering some Jefferson space. Uh, that's B Sedlock at truelacrosse.com if you're interested in getting an evaluation in before our summer season starts. All right, that was a nice show, a low shot by Tyler to Naples. We'll stay here with Quantic. We approach the five minute mark. Josh Danius all over Brady. Danius, another multi-sport athlete for the Falcons. Terrific. And will that be a turnover? Brady will come back and get it. Gets a nice screen, and we're going to have a flag. Be our first of the game. It's been pretty clean. Left alone. Lefty shot low goes wide. Matt Zenzer. We'll see what the call is. So it'll be legal screen, looks like. One minute. So our first man up, and Paquanic will have it. So Sabi is out there on the special teams defense, along with Johns, Danius, Fitzsimmons. And Jason Post, it's athletic extra man defense. And on the EMO, Dante Chef, Dylan DeNaples, excuse me, uh, shot and a save. That's Ryan Terezi. He's out there as well as Matt Zenzer. Mason Longo, that's a big turn over there. 
See if Jefferson can take advantage and run it out. When in doubt, get it to Mr. Sabia. See if he takes a shot. On the doorstep, shot and a great save by Mason Chef. Wow, that would have been a man down scoring it, shorthanded. Battle for the loose ball. And the picking it out of the air is Chubb Reed. We're going to have another flag. Reed getting bodied. Rip. That's Braden Stark. Schrock, excuse me. <clears throat> 3.45 to go. So there will be even strength, but then Jefferson will be on the man up. No whistle yet. And there is the whistle. Matthew Zenzer looks like he's heading off. It'll be a hold. So Jefferson would be on the man of, I think it was the 30 second technical. So see how the Falcons can take advantage of this. They have the one goal lead. Rip goes wide. Jefferson there on the backup. That was definitely a scary man down squad that Jefferson had in. <laughs> yeah. Post grabbing a pole. Mm hmm. Leopard. Ooh. Oh, top shelf and a goal. Maddie Leopard, his second goal of the, se of the game, and we are tied at three. There's the sweet spot we talked about before. Yes, we did. Starts to really open up for, uh, you know, when you're man up. So a man up goal for the Falcons. We are tied at three. And again, Vinny Leopard, one of the top attackmen around with 23 goals and seven assists, unavailable today due to injury. So there was a Leopard scoring, just now Vinny, it's Matty. And Shalongo doing a great job today. That's five. Kudowski, who's at a family gathering uh, graduation, he came into the game with 64%. So, Shilongo's done the job. In his limited face-offs, he was coming in with a 57% rate. So that has not hurt them. Actually, it's been an advantage for them right now. So after giving up the man-up goal, Quantic will go to work with 235 to go. Job there, sliding by the Jefferson defense, forcing the attackman to give it up. Mickey Horgan. Mikey Horgan, excuse me. Running start. Dante Chef gives it up. Good defense by the Falcons. It's Dylan Kircher, the short stick midi. Shot saved by Reed. Takes a bounce. Stay here. Good hustle to keep that in by Ryan Teresi. And in fact, stepped on the line, it looks like but the officials are gonna to talk to each other. Gotta like put the officials stop, talk, they wanna get it right. And they'll talk about it, and it will be Paquanic ball. So look at the possession with just a tick under two minutes to go here in the first half. We're tied at three. And they've done a nice job making this Jefferson defense slide because a lot of their shots have been wide open. There's a shot and a goal. And using that big frame is Dante Chef. He's got another goal for the Golden Panthers. They'll go up 4-3. Take us through this, coach. I can imagine they're going to keep using this size matchup. Just you saw it before. 
you know, he, he, he tried that two other times. So three goals for Dante today. Give him 31 on the season. Ponic, <coughs> excuse me, Quantic retakes the lead 4-3. Now, is there, Jefferson will win now. Is there a strategy when you're taking the face off against the long pole? Um, not necessarily. I mean, you're going to have more range to move your your stick, but a lot of times people pull the face off just to get the, you know, the aggressive check post face off. Got another ground ball win and <clears throat> a possession for Pequonic, Joe Haney. And he will get it over. Good work here by Bequanic. Fairly easy clear, and they'll go to work with 115 to go. They'll get their personnel on. Zinzer and Chef up top. Against this Jefferson zone, working around. Chef, the big guy. With three goals today, sends it back to X to Brady. Brady, the facilitator back there. And if that thing bounced by, he was going to be open again, Bob. And he's going to wait and scoop it up, take his time, 35 seconds to go. So obviously, Paquanic going to hold for possibly a final shot or the best available shot. They do have someone behind the cage at X for a backup, and there's a great check to get rid of that. Jefferson will get the ball. Sabia, 20 seconds to go. Chance here in transition to get another late goal like they ended the first quarter. It's Chubb Reed battling through. 11 seconds. Reed still battling, gives it up. They work it around. Rocket goes wide. Two seconds. And a quarter and a half will come to an end. But Jefferson trying hard to get that equalizer. But we're going to go into the half with Paquanic holding a 4-3 lead here live on the Morris Southern Sports Network. And we'll have a second. All of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can 
can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So, we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards 
cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak NERD. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. That'd be awesome. be 550. And welcome back to Jefferson Township High School on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Bobby Sedlock from True Lacrosse. We have a 4-3 game with Paquanic with the lead. Dante Chef having a big game, three goals, scoring one with 147 left in the first half to give the Golden Panthers the one-goal lead. And again, I want to thank both Booster Clubs for sponsoring today's game. And Bob, before we get into it, just let everyone know if they're just joining us, what's new with True, True Lacrosse. If you're looking to get on board with us this summer, uh, get your evaluation in. Email me at bsedlock at truelacrosse.com, um, and we'll set something up to see if we, you'll fit in with our teams. Shalongo with the win. They get it back to him. Bull pops loose on the doorstep. Shot and a goal right out of the gate, and Paquanic will take a two-goal lead thanks to Shalongo. And that is Tyler DeNaples with the goal. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Extra effort. That's his second goal of the game, 28th on the season. And I was going to say, one of the keys thus far, Shalongo's been great. He's got six wins, and that turned into a goal right off, right out of the gate. Sabia. Another win for Shalongo. That's been key today, but Sabia will get the ground ball and the win for Jefferson as they trail 5 3. Just, uh, just so much fun to watch him out there playing on the attack side with the long pole. With the rip and a nice save by Mason Jeff. Oh. <gasps> 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. Of a coughing fit there, folks. I apologize. Then there's a shot and a goal. And nicely done. Harrison Root with the goal, his 31st of the season. Big goal there, Bob. Yep, again, right in this sweet spot. He's slow to move. Quantic slow to move over, just sends it to the top. So we'll head back to face off X. 5 4 our score. Well, the beautiful weather and all the rain we had prior, uh, prior to today, that pollen is up, so I apologize, folks. Battle for that ground ball. Nice win there for the Golden Panthers. On the run is Finn Powers. Puts on the brakes. And Paquanta will go to work with the one goal lead. Bob, how do you see this second half shaping up? I mean, so far they're they're both coming out shooting. You know, uh, that was a big one for Paquanta early. It's a good thing for Jefferson that they answered. I think it's going to, you know, again, Time of possession, capitalizing per possession. Those are going to be big factors. Hey, Jefferson down by one, but being dominated at face-off X right now. Yeah, the, the face-off uh, has obviously been very Pequonic. Weighed in. Look at Dante Chef. Got three goals already. Using the big body. Dumps it on the doorstep. Shot and a goal. Beautifully done. Chef to Brady. That's a, that's a pretty one. And you love to see that because he could have taken that to the rack mm -hmm. himself. Just a physical presence. Look at Brady, 12 goals on the season, and it's 6 4. Right yep. on the doorstep. Doesn't give up. Dishes the ball. It's smart lacrosse. And we'll head back to face off X. Again, folks, you want to get your game on, send George an email at com or fill out the form on the YouTube page, and we'll get you on. If you want to advertise, 4 million unique views on our social media, and Jefferson finally gets a win there. And unsettled, mm -hmm. Reed gives it up on the doorstep, shot and a goal! Reed feeds Matty Leppard for his third goal. The offense starting to pick up here, right off the faceoff. Like you said, Jefferson comes out with a faceoff win, turns into good lacrosse, finishing the ball. We'll give Matt 29 goals on the season, his third of the day, and back to a one goal game, 6-5 Falcons. Gonna get it, <clears throat> get to it. Finn Powers had a very strong game. He's gonna get another win. See if they can get him not out of bounds. And we're gonna have a flag right in front of the Jefferson bench. But good job by Finn Powers. Coach Reed not happy with that one. No. He was he was thinking we're getting the ball back on the turnover, and not only they not getting the ball back, it's gonna be a man down. See what the official call is. Well, didn't see the official call, but I think that'd be a one minute. <clears throat> On the doorstep. Did that go in? Oh my God. Yes, it did. We'll have to take a look at that again. Piquanic in the man up. Off the free 
start right on the doorstep that bounces around and finds its way in. I don't know how that tucked itself in there. Let's take a look at that again. Just see how that got in. And we'll head back to face off X. Shalongo back. And the offense has really picked up here in the third quarter. 7-5 our score. Have a flag. You only get so many of those chops before the, the yellow's coming out. I think that was Ryan Teresi with the goal, number eight. We'll check on that, but right now that would give Ryan 20 goals on the season. Delayed penalty coming up with seven and a half to go here in the third quarter. Reed, oh, nicely done. Break that up by Dylan DeNaples. But Jefferson will be on the man up. They have a man up goal today. Matty Leppard scored the man up goal at the 313 mark of the second quarter. So can Jefferson take advantage and get back the goal they just gave up as they trail by two? Falcons will go to work. Root had a goal just before. Having a great senior year. Harrison with 31 goals. Root out there with Anthony Giannotti. Chubb Reed. Maddie Leppard. Wow. Shot and a rip. Vinny Leppard out there, number five. So they're using him for special teams. Let's take a look at that. Wow. Right through. It's Colin Savio. Wow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Even with stick contact, he still just powered it in. Powered right in is right. Going to play at Wagner. 6.52 left. 7-6 our score. And that'll give Sabia 18 goals on the season. Unsettled here. Ball will go loose, though, to the side. Battle for the ground ball. Who's going to come up with it? No possession yet. That'll slide over the line and will be... Pequonic possession. Joe Breed with the ride. He's so tough on that. This is his chance to get back at these guys that yeah. whack them all the time on offense on the attack. They get it across fairly easily. Matthew Zenzer puts on the brakes. So Colin Sabia makes it a one goal game. We have another flag. Was it an offside? Yes, it was. Offside, so Jefferson gets it back. Here comes Colin Savior, the one-man wrecking crew. Chubb Reed. Ball pops out. He had an opportunity there. Battle for that ground ball. That's not for the faint of heart going after those ground balls, Bob. You know that full well is a long ball. Yeah, you're prepping to get hit in there. Chubb's doing a great job of keeping his head down, and he's not backing away from any of them. No, he has no fear. We'll save you. Very rare he comes off the field. Looks like a talented kid. Had a good football season, too, for Jerry Venerino. Reed dumps it up top. Back to Root. Back up to Sabia. And Leopard out there. Vinny Leopard, number five. So... Good to see Vinny out there. He has it here. 
Benny with 23 goals this year. Had a great season last year. See, he's got a little hitch in his giddy up. But he's such a talented scorer. If they can find him on the crease, his, his arms are fine. And he'll be able to get rid of it. As long as he gets his hands free. What's that now? Three sets of brothers on the field? Yes. The Chefs, the Reeds, and the Leopards. So this is Chubb Reed. Finn Powers all over him. Goes low. Great save by Mason Chef. But we'll stay here with the Falcons. Great job on the backup. Reading that perfectly. This is Vinny Leopard. He's going to get the body from Joseph Haney. Haney on him. Leopard hanging. And I can understand Scott Reed's like, you know what? We're down 7 5. Vinny, what can you give me here in the second half? Yep. And I'm sure Vinny had no problem going in. Tough kid. Oh, hands free shot oh. and a goal and a flag. Anthony Giannotti with a big goal for the Jefferson Falcons. We're tied at seven. Third goal of the season for Giannotti. Watch a little hitch in the pass, gets the defender moving. Sets him up for some bad footwork. So it will be a goal and a penalty, but they will have a phase off. So Jefferson should be a man up. Yep, Falcons will have a man up opportunity, their third. Kind of look at Sabi again, another ground ball win. So Jefferson looking to take the lead. They have not had the lead today. They've been down or tied. So opportunity here to take their first lead. We're under four minutes to go here in the third quarter. That extra man unit, very good. Vinny Leppert <clears throat> with the rip. Anthony Giannotti on the backup. Reed, Giannotti, Harry Root. Matt Leppert, Sabia, and Vinny Leppert. Little inside roll, shot, save. A good ground ball win. Dylan DeNaples. They get to the keeper. Now comes Mason Chef. Gets rid of it, dangerous. And Coach Stephen Donnelly saw that was coming, called the yeah. timeout. Smart call there by Coach Donnelly, who coached at Iona Prep. Did a nice job at Roxbury. Had a cup of coffee with Lenby Valley, and over the last four years has really solidified this Pequonic program. They've done a real nice job. So again, we want to thank our <clears throat> booster clubs from both schools for sponsoring this game. And again, if you want to sponsor, or be a, be a sponsor on these games. We have all the games. We have boys and girls across softball, baseball. We did a golf at Morris County the other day. <clears throat> we do all the Morris County championships and the HWS championships. So send an email to George at morrissusexsports.com. They don't come up with an advertising package for you. We have 4 million views on our social media. We have the Climate Care player of the game that we give out a shirt to at the end of the game, but you can only see that on our social media. And we'll have that for today. That draws a lot of views. So our score 7-7, seven, seven, three minutes and ten seconds to go, and Bobby, we were saying at the top of the broadcast, on paper, this is a very even game. Well, on the field, it's pretty even, yeah. too. Yeah, it's been, it been back and forth. You know, the, I mean... Pequonic, I thought, in the beginning was going to kind of take off with it. And then, you know, Jefferson came back with those two, not only to stop the bleeding, but to fight their way back. 7-7. Seven, seven. You see Vinny Leopard out there now. It's going to be uh, – I think he's going to end up being a big factor in this fourth quarter. Absolutely. This fourth quarter. If he gets himself in position, they will find him. The, the ball will find him. All right, so after the timeout, Pequonic will restart. Joe Haney will get it over. And the goal 
Carolina Panthers will go to work with just exactly three minutes ago. Tied at seven here at Jefferson High School, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. And we'll see if Jefferson treats Dante Chef a little bit differently. He's had a great game. Four goals for him. Good slide stop there. It's hard because he's somebody that you'd want to say, hey, quick slide to him, but even in traffic, even with body contact, he's still making great passes. Working for next, <clears throat> Teresi. Little jump shot goes wide. And great job by Jefferson to get to that ground ball. Actually comes right back. Quantic <clears throat> shot broke it up. That was Jason Post making that original nice play. Post, another true guy. Rock goes wide and stay here. I've seen times guys, they think they got the advantage and they kind of just jog over and the guy will scoot by yeah. and the referee says, nope. So you got to go after those. Especially with a quick goalie like Reed. Yes, indeed. You don't know where he's at. About a minute 30 to go, third quarter. Tied at seven. Trying to get something going here. Swings it back up top. This is Chef, the big guy. Good defense. And who else? <laughs> Colin Sabia. Pops out a Reed stick. He re recollects it. A little unsettled here for the Falcons. Reed weaves his way back to X. Waiting for someone to come cutting through. Matty Leopard will hold on to it as we approach a minute to go third quarter. Reed looks at the clock. And we got Coach's sons out there. They know the game as well as anyone. He knows the time and situation. Swing it back over to Matty Leopard. Sabi is up top. He'll get it to Colin. 40 seconds to go. Leopard had a little room there, but a little too far out. Good work up top. Dylan Denables, number six, and then trying to break it up is Finn Powers, who's been terrific, but it's Reed with the ground ball win. 20 seconds to go. Ball's loose. No whistle or flag, and out comes with it. Finn Powers. Boy, we've said his name a lot today. Long clear, but it's going to be... Broken up, stay here with Paquanic, unsettled. Chance here, Brady with the rip goes Ooh. wide. Wow, that would have been a game changer possibly there. But it been a huge momentum swing if he's able to knock that in. Yeah, off the pipe like that. Wow. Uh, that thing was zipping by. And that'll end a very exciting third quarter. And we are tied at seven, and we'll head to the fourth quarter right after this. We're here for you. Get back the life you love. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more.
Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly <clears throat> have. And we're back here live, start of the fourth quarter. Bequanik and Jefferson tied at seven. Dan Cleary along with Bobby Sedlock of True Lacrosse. Bob, your thoughts on what we saw in the third quarter? What it, they came out right out of the gate with the Naples scoring, but it was the most active offensive quarter of the game. Yeah, that one was definitely uh, pretty exciting to watch. Um, you know, the different plays being made, the extra efforts. You know, that's what you like to see as a coach is your, your guys making those extra effort plays. It means their heart's there. So Jefferson was down 7-5 after Teresi scored. A beautiful goal off the bounced around. But they battled back goals from Colin Savia and Anthony Giannotti. Look at Chubb Reed working his way through. He's going to draw a flag. Probably going to be a hold call there. As a long pole, how tough is it going against a kid like Reed? Oh my his God. motor never yeah. stops. That's one of the most difficult things, too. That's what I tell all my defenders. You guys don't get to choose when we go. Right. You have to be in defense mode constantly. We're in attack, but eh, I don't want to dodge this time. <laughs> pass it. The defender, you got to be ready. We've got the short stick on him right now, Haney. Reed, delayed penalty coming up. They work it back. Oh, Strouch. Up top again, CB. Good ball movement. Left alone. Shot and a goal. Oh. Leopard with the rip. Maddie now with four goals. It's good ball movement here, Bob. Too oh. much space. Absolutely. Leopard <laughs> will make you pay. It's all that winter training from True Lacrosse. There you, you go. Know. Right on cue. Those step down shots, those little inside rolls. And that Leopard, the freshman, with 30 goals on the season for today. It's kind of lacrosse is giving me goosebumps. Seeing it back and forth. And yep. High stakes every goal. I'm watching this guy see yeah. it work his magic. So Jefferson with an 8-7 lead. Their first lead of the game, and that comes with 10-24 to go in the game. But I have a sneaking suspicion this is not going to be our final <laughs> score. <laughs> Both of these teams so evenly matched, and obviously the scoreboard showing that. And Scott Reed is one to be deliberate when he does have a lead, as most coaches are. Although some, like the <clears throat> couple last year with Rutgers with their NASCAR offense, they just wanted to go, 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 no matter what the score was. Leopard shot, saved by Chef. Mason Chef with a nice stop. Get it into middle. 
Good work there, clearing it out. Dan Benavina. He takes the shot. Jamison Reed at the last second picked that ball up. And the ground ball win by Aiden Fitzsimmons. Unsettled here. Reed with a little ground ball pass, Whoa. but read perfectly. Good work there by the long pole, Dylan DeNaples. Who's going to get the ground ball? Bodies flying. We have an injured player. Let's see the number. That's Harrison Root, number three. He's going to bounce up. <clears throat> but because the training staff came out, he's going to have to come off. I'm sure he's fine. He's a tough kid. You play lacrosse and ice hockey? Yeah. You, you got your share of bruises that can tell the story. Spend a lot of time getting hit with sticks and bodies. Mm-hmm. All right, we're about ready to restart. Should be Jefferson Bull, it is. A restart. Leopard with four goals, beats his man, works his way in, and a great save by Mason Chef. That's a huge save yeah. right there. That's big. Jefferson going to the goal with only four people on the field is interesting. Interesting take there. That's a high risk, high reward type deal. You know, you knock it in, it's 9 7. <clears throat> so, Paquan will get their people on, offensive personnel. Dante Chef with three goals today to lead the Golden Panthers and Maddie Leopard with four goals to lead Jefferson. A little spin dodge, working his way back. Matthew Zenzer trying to get back to that sweet spot they've been very successful in. And Tyler Janaples has been hanging out in number 24. Brady. Good job by Ethan Orlando, the short stick midi. Let's skip it across. Oh, nice little inside roll shot. And a goal on the bounce. And we have a flag, too. We'll see what the flag is. Goal is Matthew Zenzer, number 14. Zenzer's 17 goals on the season. We're tied at eight. It's a good job getting it off before the slide gets a stick on you. Great placement. Some cold is here. Fisher wasn't very demonstrative to the scorer's table, kind of just gave a verbal. <coughs> but it will be a free clear and possession. So man up here for Pequonic. They just tied it at eight. And they'll look to take the lead in the man up after the goal by Zenzer. Jefferson trying to force the turnover. Ball still loose. We'll have a whistle here. We'll have a push. And Pequonic will keep it. In the man up, in the extra man. Trying to get his hands free, little jump shot on the bounce. That's the last three they've used to bounce. Do you think they saw something in Reed and goal to pick up on that, or is it just part of the run of play? It could be part of the run of play. He does, he is moving very quickly to the ground. And another bounce shot, shot there. It seems like it's a concerted effort by Bequanic to use the bounce. Which on the turf goes quickly, but it's a true bounce. You do it on the grass, you don't know where the ball's going half the time. Jefferson used to play their games over there by the bus depot. I'm sure you played there in high school. And Vernon would come over. With hands free, a nice dodge shot, a goal. A beautiful goal by Ryan Teresi. Man up goal to 640 mark, and it's 9-8 Pequonic.
This is a great move here. Makes a little move, a little stick dodge. Yep, saw the defender hesitate a little bit, pulled it in, get a couple more steps, secure the goal. Teresi now with 21 goals on the season. We believe he had that goal that bounced around the cage. So back and forth we go. 6.40 to go to man up goal by Ryan Teresi. Penalty on Quantic Jefferson will get the possession. Sabia swings it on over. Maddie Leopard having a big game today, the freshman. Chubb Reed, he makes his team go. He is the catalyst. Coming into this game with 32 assists. Falcons. Braden Strouch out there, number four as well. Reed trying to get free, changes hands. Oh, pops out, nice trick from behind. By the short stick midi on the run are the Panthers. Eddie Shalongo, terrific job by him. Not, doing, not only doing a great job at face all X, he just forced a big turnover. That is a huge turnover, turnover since they got the you know the ball on the uh, false start on the face off. It's a free possession. So Aquatic with the lead, the ball and 5:30 and ticking on the scoreboard clock. Brady swings it over. A little two man with Brady and Tyler to Naples. Brady, trying to shake free. Good defense by Dylan Kircher. Coming back to scoop up the ground ball, Matt Zenzer. He had a goal before. Oh, great check there by Aiden Fitzsimmons. But McQuanick will get it back. Nope. It will be Jefferson Ball. So good job there by the Falcons. They get it back, but under five to go, trailing by one. Well, that could be a turnover. Let's see. Nope. Harrison Root will get there. Good to see Harrison back. Did they get the timeout? Yep. Wow. Just before he got knocked <laughs> out of close. bounds, he got the timeout. Great timeout. Goal by Scott Reeve with 4.48 to go. And the Falcons trailing by one. So, so Bob, we'll put you in both huddles. Let's, first of all, you're down one. What's Scott Reed telling his kids? Long possession. It's got to end in a goal. Um, leave enough time on the board for you to score again, but hopefully not enough for them to score. If you're on Paquanic's side of this, we got to get the ball back and maintain possession. If there's an open shot, take it, but no need to press the, press the issue here. And, uh, you know, you can't even say which team has an advantage here because they're so dead even. I mean, probably by the time the end look at this game, the stats are probably very close in every category. Ground balls. Uh, and as far as face-off X, Jefferson has cut into that deficit, although Shalongo had done a great job at first. But uh, Sabia, who does it all, has won a couple to get them going. So we'll see what Coach Scott Reed does here out of the timeout with 4.48 to go. Jefferson's next game will be here Monday night against Booten. And Paquanic will go at noon. Paquanic is in the... Curcio, which we said, which they're kind of in the driver's seat. They still have Old Japan and Demers left. Games, if they play their games, should be okay. And that'd be a great job by Coach Donnelly and the Golden Panthers to win a division. They're in the end, Jack Colonial. They have a tough loss to Kinelon, so they need Kinelon to lose to someone to get a piece of the end, Jack title. And as we said, for Jefferson, Morris Knowles is in the risk and also in the end, Jack United. That so that loss to Morris Knowles, unless Knowles gets knocked off, but I, I like the I, I get why the NJAC wants to have their own divisions because it, it's such a lacrosse rich area, but to be in two different divisions, it's kind of tough to keep track of. But if they break out of the other the North Jersey uh, interscholastic league, then it's going to hurt other schools that don't have enough in their regular uh, conferences. So they stay in it. So it's been double since the NJAC started. Reed gets free shot. Oh, my goodness. How did that not go in? 
And a battle for the ball. Reed will come up with it. Terrific job. That was Sabi again. Number 18. Yeah. He has it. But on the, on the plus side, teams have two, two leagues they can try to win. Leopard with four goals. Dumps it back up. Approach 340 to go. Leopard hands free. Thought about it. Gives it up back to Reed. Ball scoots through. Can Root get there? Actually was was deflected, so we'll stay here with the Falcons. They trail 9-8. Teresi with the man-up goal for Paquanic, giving them the one goal advantage. Yeah, this is a big possession here. And you get starting into that time factor now with 3.18 and running. If you don't come out with a tying goal here, now, now you're up against the clock and Paquanic. He gets rid of it. Back up top. We can't find it. Who's there? Powers. He's close to double digits in ground balls today. Finn Powers on a great game. Now the clock. For Jefferson, do you start the double? Or is it too early? You're only down one. Only down one. Uh, two minutes is not a long time. I would say, you know, you got to start pressing the issue. Maybe not double, but on ball, mm -hmm. I would start to press out. I mean, they've got a really athletic defense. Yes, they do. I would be sending people. Working his way in. Shot doesn't get through. <sighs> Jefferson will get it back. Good job by their D. Great save. Jameson Reed with the save, trying to get it out to Aiden Fitzsimmons. He brings it across, unsettled here. Leopard with the rocket just high. Looking for goal number five. Harry Root, Harrison Root on the backup. 2.06 to go. So good job of the Jefferson defense to get that possession back for their offense. Get their personnel on. And that's what you want to see when you start to get your defense to press out a little. Look at that. Finn Powers forcing the turnover. Again. What a monster game he's having. Dan Benavina. Another clear for him. Gets it through. Sabia. Paquanic looking for the flag. And they do get it. That's a tough call. Leak flag, too. 132 to go. Sabia on the trail check. Got tied up with Benavina. Good work by him. He forced that penalty. But it all started by the work by Finn Powers. And they have the lead, and they have to keep it in the box. Less than two minutes to go. Can't let her drift out. They've touched up, now they gotta stay in. Brady, and Alex Johns all over him. Brady, using that athletic ability, popped out, great job there, knocking the stick, the ball out of the stick, Alex Johns, who's gonna get to that ground ball? Huge ground ball right here, and scooping it up. Great job there on the ground ball win by Jason Post. There he is. He learned well from his true lacrosse coaches. And a big win and a timeout with 104 to go. Wow. And that's just determination on the Jefferson kids' part. Yeah, I mean, and it was a smart play. You know, he stepped in, boxed him out, scooped up the ground ball. Coach Reed calling another timeout. Well placed. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Jefferson out of timeouts here in the last 104. And I guess, you know, we go into the Jefferson huddle. It's kind of exactly what you had just said before. Good, smart possession, good shots. Make sure someone's on the backup if you're taking a shot from the perimeter. 
Yep. Try to work it around, get the slides going for Quantic's defense and find that sweet spot. Long possession. Mm -hmm. Tie the game. Not a lot of time left. Right. As you pointed out before, you don't want to give them time left the, the chance yeah. to, to retake the lead. Although Coach Reed hates it. Many years ago, they were playing Monville over at the bus depot, and they were up, I want to say three, with a minute left, and Monville make it and take it three times in a row, fourth overtime, one in overtime. So, Coach Reed, if you watch this on a replay, I apologize for bringing up that bad memory. <laughs> but that has stuck in his crawl, and that was probably about 14 years ago. No lead safe in lacrosse, especially a one goal one. But they need to tie it here. With 104 to go after the timeout. Clock starts. Here we go. Reed. Getting okay, tripped back. He's got Finn Powers on him. Finn has been a difference maker today, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Him and Sabia for Jefferson. We get this game tied up. 40 seconds to go. Back up top. Leper with the four goals. Drifts back. Good defense here by Bequanic. Noah Rosario on him. Dumps it around. Good ball movement here by Jefferson. Shot by oh. Leper. Oh, Chef got a piece of that. Wow. That was right on the doorstep, and that was a rocket. On the restart. Ball pops out, Finn Powers in there. And Powers gets in. Did Coach Donnelly get a timeout? He did. Oh. Finn Powers. It's a big play. Play of the game right there. If they're able to hold on to win with 16 seconds left. And one of the beautiful things about this game of lacrosse, if you follow it, and if you're a casual, you're like, oh, well, the guy that scored four goals is your player of the game. Not always the case, Bob, but... I think Finn Power is making it. If they win this game, I think he's making a case for himself. What would yeah, you say? Yeah, definitely. I mean, between him and Sabia's names, those are the only two, two on the ground balls that we continuously hear. That's a huge defensive play. Absolutely. With 16 seconds to go, gets the turnover, Finn Powers. Great job. Again, I want to thank both the McQuanic and Jefferson Booster Clubs for having us. Hey, we want to thank Billy Koch, the outstanding athletic director here at Jefferson. Always a pleasure to come here. Billy always does a great job coming to Jefferson. Also, Brian Silpane, who does a great job at Quantic. We were there the other day for senior night for the softball team. That was a lot of fun. Again, for the old, old-timers, this is an old Skyline Conference game. The old Route 23 League ran from High Point down to uh, from High Point High School down to Pompton Lakes. You had Franklin, Sparta, Jefferson, Kinelon, West Milford, and Butler, and Bequanic all in between. All right, can they get it over and run out this clock? Great job getting it across by oh, Joe Haney, down. but could be a turnover. Five seconds to go. Jefferson has a chance. Oh, my God. A Hail Mary might tie this up. And the buzzer sounds. No flag. And Bequanic is going to go on the road and pick up a hard fought 9-8 victory over the Jefferson Falcons. What a game. Bobby, what did you see there in that last 20, 16 seconds? Wow. I, I, I really thought Jefferson was going to come away with at least a shot, maybe a penalty on that. Coach Reed doesn't look very happy right now. No, he's letting the officials know all about it. That's a frustrating loss for Jefferson, wow, I'm that, sure. that is a tough one. So they'll fold to 10 and two. There's still five and one to risk, and Bequanic continue in its great year. They go to 11 and two, and they would like to finish out their Curcio season and also the NJAC Colonial, hoping someone knocks off Kinlon. So a great win. For the Bequanic Golden Panthers. So that'll wrap it up for our live coverage. To find out who our player of the game from Climate Carriage, you'll have to go to more Sussex Sports social media. So for the Maestro, my man Paul Harvey working the board, our camera people, and my partner Bobby Sedlock of True Lacrosse, I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the more Sussex Sports Network.
Fitzsimmons we talked about. Those guys back there, the long poles, Danius, Johns, and Fitzsimmons. Done a great job of all the short stick middies. Hands free, shot, and a goal. So, all right, so there's a lot of good lacrosse. <laughs> I think that's the point I'm trying to make. In a very long, long way to get it there. Waiting back at X. Good defense there by Alex Johns. Shot and a goal. And another rip there. That's Tyler. So nice job here. They've held it for almost a minute since they had the timeout. I really like the McQuack again. Left alone. Shot and a goal. Down. My bad. Jefferson keeps it with 25 seconds to go. Anthony Giannotti puts on the brakes. Sports are back up top. It's been a while since we've called Jefferson on the attack. Leopard with the inside roll, shot and a goal! There by Evan Karate, number 32 is checked in. Quarter's got good size. They're pretty big boys down there. This is Reed. Works his way through, dumps there it is. in, and a beautiful goal by Mason Longo. That's a big turn over there. See if Jefferson can take advantage and run it out. When in doubt, get it to Mr. Savia. See if he takes a shot. On the doorstep, shot and a great save by Mason Shep. That was definitely a scary man down squad that Jefferson had in. <laughs> yeah. Post grabbing a pole. Mm hmm. Leopard. Oh, top shelf and a goal. Maddie Leopard here in the first half. We're tied at three. They've done a nice job making this Jefferson defense slide because a lot of their shots have been wide open. There's a shot and a goal. And using that big frame is Dante Chef. Tell me at bsedlock at truelacrosse.com um, and we'll set something up to see if we, you'll fit in with our teams. Shalongo with the win. They get it back to him. Bull pops loose on the doorstep. Shot and a goal right out of the gate. And Paquanic will take a two goal. A little bit of a coughing fit there, folks. So I apologize. And there's a shot and a goal. Yeah, the, the faceoff uh, has obviously been very Pequonic. Weighed in. Look at Dante Chef. Got three goals already. Uses the big body. Dumps it on the doorstep. Shot and a goal. Beautifully done. Chef to Brady. Got the form on the YouTube page. We'll get you on if you want to advertise four million unique views on our social media and Jefferson finally gets a win there and unsettled yeah. Reed gives it up on the doorstep shot and a goal Reed feeds didn't see the official goal but I think that'd be a one minute <clears throat> on the doorstep did that go in oh my God. yes it did but we'll to take a look at that again and pick in and the man up your year, Harrison with 31 goals. Root out there with Anthony Giannotti, Chubb Reed, Maddie Leppert. Wow. Sets of brothers on the field. Yes. The chefs, the Reeds, and the Leopards. So this is Chubb Reed. Finn Powers all over him. Goes low, great save by Mason Chef. And I can understand Scott Reed's like, you know what, we're down 7-5. Vinny, what can you give me here in the second half? Yep. And I'm sure Vinny had no problem going in. Tough kid. Oh, hands free, shot, oh. and a goal, and a flag. Anthony Giannotti with a big goal. Reed, delayed penalty coming up. And work it back. Oh, Strouch. Top again, Sabi. Good ball movement. Left alone. Shot and a goal. Leopard with the. Should be Jefferson Ball. It is. Restart. Leopard with four goals. Beats his man. Works his way in. And a great save by Mason Chef. That's a huge. Good job by Ethan Orlando. The short stick mid. Let's skip it across. Oh, nice little inside roll shot and a goal on the bounce. 
And we have, you do down the grass, you don't know where the ball's going half the time. Jefferson used to play their games over there by the bus depot. You, I'm sure you played there in high school. And Vernon would come over. Hands free, a nice down shot, a goal, a beautiful goal. On the restart. Ball pops out, Finn Powers in there. And Powers gets it, and did Coach Donnelly get a timeout? He did. Finn Powers. 